Hey guys, so recently, St. Martin's Press republished the first book that Lev Grossman, author of the Magician's Trilogy, ever wrote, a story called Warp. It's this short little thing, and it's got a new introduction from the author. He originally began working on this book in 1992, took a few years to finish it, and had it published in 1997. It's never been that well received, especially by those looking back at it after reading the Magician's Trilogy, but I really wanted to give it a shot and see how it was. Thanks so much to St. Martin's Press for sending it out to me, this new, beautiful, republished edition. So this is the story of a guy named Hollis. He's very, very much similar to the main character of the Magician's Trilogy, Quentin, except without the, the magic. He's a bit aimless, he's a wanderer, he's a heavy thinker, and he's got very little going on in his life. This, this book is kind of like a day in his life. It takes place over basically 24 hours. Whether or not it's a, a typical day is irrelevant, but overall it seems like a fairly average series of occurrences in what seems to be a fairly downcast, unfocused, disillusioned life. He hangs out with his equally outcast, yet somewhat more upbeat, seemingly, friends that skip from topic to topic in conversations sort of around Hollis as he just kind of exists with them. They plan some ridiculous things that he just kind of goes along with. He ruminates on his old girlfriend, he meets a new girl, he has quirky conversations with everyone involved. There's not much more to it plot-wise than that. What really makes this book what it is, is what we're what we're able to perceive about Hollis's mindset during all of this. It's a bit all over the place, but it's it's got a certain tone that's really reflected in the conversation topics happening around him that he picks up on, and in the constant imaginings and reflections on uh, TV shows, movies, books, and his own past that crop up into the narrative to represent his thoughts. Uh, throughout the book, we get little snippets in between present-day real-life Hollis of these different kinds of media that this character enjoys, and every once in a while, little glimpses into certain events in his past that he just can't seem to let go of, mostly involving his ex-girlfriend. What, what you can tell above all else by these things, and by this book in general, is that Hollis is truly affected by these things, and they're, they're sprinkled throughout this as if they're just a part of his everyday narrative, the way that he, he sees himself and his life. And there's, there's honestly not much more going on here. It, it took Lev Grossman a few years to write this, as he mentions in the introduction, and as I just mentioned, but it's, it's easy to see why this book didn't exactly take off when he finally finished it. But looking back on it now, it's interesting to see where this author's mind was at at the time of writing this in relation to his own life situation and to Hollis's. He explains what he went through while writing it, and I think my enjoyment of the book as a whole really benefited from that context, the context of the introduction, and from the context that this is the author who eventually went on to write the Magician's Trilogy, which I had my own problems with at first, but eventually came to love the second two books at least, and this story actually feels like Hollis himself is slowly working his way into the mindset of writing a book like The Magicians. Maybe that's just why he feels so much like Quentin. Quentin is Hollis is Lev, and in understanding that comes a deeper and more emotionally fulfilling understanding of this book and the story that he took several years to tell. I just imagine, while I was reading, I just imagined Lev Grossman writing and rewriting the very specific bits of this over and over again during those years at some desk in these old apartments that he used to live in that he describes in the introduction, and that really does add something to the enjoyment. And this this doesn't really work all that well as a novel on its own. It's just all over the place, there's hardly a plot, and it's just moody as frick, but it's cool to see where this author started and where he eventually went with some of these ideas and themes that you can really see budding in Warp. So that's everything I really have to say about it. I It's like it's really short, so I guess the review should reflect that. If you've read anything by Lev Grossman, specifically the Magician's Trilogy, I think you could gain something from reading this, definitely. I do think it's a nice little glimpse into the mind of Lev Grossman before he published his most famous work, and I think if you did enjoy that work, then you will have, get some sort of enjoyment out of this as well. So that's everything I wanted to say about this. Thank you guys so much for watching. Let me know any thoughts you might have on it, and I will see you later with more.